Thank you, Nice. You know quality guests, hot political debate. That's why I went to Gary Bushell's place. Now, I have to say, with the success of all the laddie magazines like Loaded and FHM, it possibly still is a man's world. Although I'm not agreeing with that, girls, but that's what they like to think. So let's think back to who's contributed to those years and to this era that we're now in. Well, it must be the veteran of the Loaded Lad himself, Mr Gary Bushell. Top girl, Jen. Yeah, you see, right? look, you've got it all there, haven't you? <laughs> and, uh, can you just, just a bit of a live, just yeah, through today. Can you actually tell us where we are, Gary? We're actually in my house in we South are, East London. This is, is no set, is it? No, it's the real thing where we do Bushel on the Box every week for the last 42 weeks. And I had black hair before it started, and now it's all completely grown and falling out. But you're doing awfully well, aren't you? It's doing all right. So you're a bit of a broadcaster now? Bit of a proper broadcaster, top man, yeah. Yeah, see, and I thought you just <laughs> one of these showbiz <laughs> gossipers that really slagged everybody How off. dare you, madam? You'll be in for my solicitor in the morning. <laughs> Have you got any showbiz gossip, though? Could we just plug it on the news of the world, you know? <laughs> No, but I mean, when we think about it, you you are sort of like, you like that, don't you? I do. It's quite handy. <laughs> hey, oh dear. That, that, that. I need some of that. No, but I mean, if you think about it, you were kind of like the lad of lads in the eighties. Um, I mean, you, still madam. now. Well, you are very laddy. Football, swigging whiskey, and all the rest of it. So, what what do you think gave you the qualifications? Well, I think it probably stems right back to my early days when I was in the very fabulous punk rock band, The Gonads, where we did. Uh, That's not a very laddie name, is it? <laughs> and uh, and before uh, after that, I was the manager of this little outfit. I don't remember these, the Cockney Rejects. They were pretty damn laddie for their yeah. time. They were well ahead of the well ahead of the herd. Right. So I think that was the qualifications really back in back in old punk days. Right. And would you say that it's still a man's world? I hope so. Sex is selling a lot, isn't it? Sex is selling. We want plenty of sexism. That's what it's all about. Really. Yeah. Because all this stuff about women women are interested in men's bodies, that's absolute nonsense. Well, I was a bit disappointed, actually, because it was Wonder Bra Week. <laughs> yeah, it was right? really? Yeah. <laughs> you never guess. But well, what's the male equivalent? Why isn't there a male one? Well, I've actually got these padded things on oh, now. Not the... now. It's far <laughs> too late for that, and it'll probably be far too early as well. All right, so we'll talk about the laddie bit, but what about your personal interviews? What are the ones that you've been really proud of? Personal interviews? Yeah. Well, it's just great. I mean, for this show, we've had Bob Monkhouse come round here. We've had Barbara Windsor come round here. Ross Kemper said he's coming. Ross, if you're watching this, you better come, mate. Well, and I, just think, I just oh, Please, Sorry. don't think about your... Yes. <laughs> uh, I just think it's great to have all these people come round and yeah. they're just doing it and the show is fantastic because they're all contributing. I think yeah. it's absolutely spot on. Now, I've always, I've always thought, oh, he is a bit of a lad, a bit of a show with all the rest of it, slightly sexist, but, you know, he loves women. That's great. Yeah, enough, yeah. Is there a feminine side to you? Would your wife say, yeah, he's romantic? Oh, stale. Yes. Me and Dale are quite close. Oh, really? He yeah, likes my feminine side. Uh, so you have got one. <laughs> you, 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 you have got the feminine touch. Well, when no one's around, I do like dressing up in women's clothes, but I don't really like, want that to get out. Well, I always think the qualification for knowing that you are a woman's man, as it were, is if you know what PMT stands for. Yeah, go on. You don't know? Oh, well, yeah, I thought it might be a gay girl. No, it's not, so you do know. Premenstrual tension? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, good. Not premenstrual tension, that's when you get when some guitarist is coming on, you think, oh, God, I can't handle that. Oh, right, okay. Talking to which, you play the guitar, don't you? I would not like to contribute to a guitar track, no. Please. Why? Just a tad. We want to see the other side of you. Or something I, like I wrote myself. Yeah, go on. Yeah, something that you wrote yourself, I'll have to pay for it. Here we go, then. Here we go. Somebody else wrote that, Gary. Hey? But that was beautiful. So tell us about the one story <laughs> in that tabloid newspaper that you worked for. What, the old really... camera bun? Yeah! The old camera bun, Tell us the story that you are re... your pièce de résistance. Well, it has to be this one. Look at that. This is absolutely genuine, front page of the sun, back on the 14th of March, 1987, when me and some of my mates organised Let It Be, the single. It was number one for four weeks. Mm -hmm. Old Paul McCartney said, go ahead and do it, go woo, did all that. And it got to every day a load of money for the uh, Superga. Oh, disaster. I bet everyone was dead proud of you, weren't they? It was a bloody good night. Beautiful. All right, last question before we go. I have to say. You can't ask me anything, Jen. Don't can be shy. I? Really? Yeah. I knew you were going to say that. You have First got a chance. Top you, bar have, this. you have got a chance. Have I? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. That's why I've come <laughs> round your house, actually. I said, we won't do it anywhere else because I want to be in his house. Got it. What, what, what? Well, what I want to know is, as a lad, yeah. what is your perfect laddie night out? It would have to be just you and me, Jen. He's so predictable. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, can I interest you in something? What? Just... Help!